Hi, how is going? Welcome to another late night stocks video. I think it's time to evaluate our favorite COVID-19 vaccine makers again. I see some articles and comments on the internet about Moderna and its valuation. I think most of them are wrong. Some analysts are even downgrading their expectations. So is the party really over? No, it's not over and the show must go on. We got very good feedback from our latest Moderna, Biotech and Novavax video. If you want to support us, you can just give a like or you can buy a coffee for us. You can find the link below the video. So, should you buy these vaccine stocks? Will these stocks become a meme? I'm also gonna share my stock price target for each company. This time we have a bonus. At the end, you can hear the latest news about the CureVac and its extraordinary adventure. By the way, you can track the late night stocks portfolio on Patreon. You can find a lot of information there about these companies and their future projections. So, according to famed epidemiologist Larry Brilliant, the world is nowhere near to the end of the pandemic. So, is it a good time to buy vaccine maker shares? You will very likely to find what you are searching for in this video. Before we start, please give a like to increase the ranking of the video and don't forget to subscribe. I hear very often that Moderna is overvalued, but is it true? Moderna's market cap is much more than BioNTech's, but in this case, BioNTech is undervalued in my opinion. So it's not easy to say something about their valuation now in comparison to 4 months ago. We put the target price around $350 in April and assumed that their COVID-19 vaccine net profit margin was 25%. After that they surprised us and announced 50% net profit margin. The company has delivered billions of mRNA vaccines so far and the stock prices are skyrocketing. Moderna and BioNTech made 4x in between. I would like to start with Moderna and compare the company with different established companies in the same industry. This is the best thing I can do to evaluate its market cap and P ratio because we got the revenue expectations for this year. Market capitalization is basically the share price multiplied by the number of shares outstanding. Since outstanding stock is bought and sold in public markets, capitalization can be used as an indicator of public opinion of a company's net worth. In other words, market cap is a virtual size of a company. As of today, Moderna has a 157 billion US dollars market cap. I'm gonna compare them step by step. I choose three American pharmaceutical companies which are also listed in S&P 500. Let's start with the AppBuy. The company is almost $206 billion market cap which is about 30% more than Moderna. Moderna PE ratio is above the AppBuy but I will explain why it's also fair. By the way, our end of year P ratio is 13 due to our calculations. Please check previous Moderna videos for further details. Let's start with the net profit margin. FY has much less net profit margin than Moderna. According to our calculation again, it is about 60% for its COVID-19 vaccine. Moderna has less operating overhead and also more operating margin. FY has significantly more revenues than Moderna. By the way, Moderna expects $20 billion sales revenue this year. Another important point is the cash position. Moderna has more cash and doesn't pay dividends. End of this year the company will have about $20 billion cash. Despite having less cash, FY has more debt. The company has $82 billion of debt in comparison to $600 million debt of Moderna. When we look at the big picture, FY has more revenue but less earnings. Moderna is much more efficient company so far. Also, we use earnings not revenues to evaluate profitable companies. So, how about the Merck? 
The company also has a $194 billion market cap, which is above the Moderna. The numbers are very similar to FY. Merck has also lower profit margin, more revenue and more debt when we compare with Moderna. In the big picture, Moderna had again more profit than Merck in this quarter and will have more net profit this year. The last company is Bristol Myers Squibb. It has a $150 billion market cap similar to Moderna. We can't see the P ratio because company made a loss previously. Its revenue is high and $14 billion cash. Its total debt is less than previously mentioned companies. So let's compare their earnings quarter over quarter. Bristol Myers Squibb had more revenues but less earnings. At Q4 2020 made a loss. Moderna has increased their earnings and made more profits. Long story short, Moderna is not overvalued in my opinion. Moderna should have 30 PE ratio and it will be. This is my reasonable bullish case and my stock price target is $900 for this year. Bearish case is the same $500 stock price target. So let's talk about the Biontech. Recently the company announced Q2 earnings. Biontech beat the $7.8 consensus EPS estimate and earned 11.4 euros. Attention please, the currency is euro, not dollar. They got 5.3 billion euros in commercial revenues and the net profit was almost 2.8 billion euros. Biontech has also updated previously stated financial outlook for this year. Now they secured 15.9 billion euros in contracts. This makes 18.72 billion dollars as of today. As I mentioned in previous videos, Biontech can get even more revenues than Moderna this year. My bullish case stock price target is $850 and bearish case is $600. But don't forget, Moderna and Biontech stock prices boosting each other. So, probably we see a parallel rise in the near future. By the way, people are selling these shares like no tomorrow. I am very confident and didn't sell a single share during the last rally. I don't see any better and lower risk bet in the stock market this year. So, Novavax stock is going up and down like Modern and Biontech last year. Before the first approval and deliveries, it can keep continuing like that. Their vaccine is actually first class. After a long period of a failure story, they did a good job and developed a vaccine candidate with high efficacy and low side effects. You can see a lot of articles about the vaccine on the internet. It's maybe early to talk about the side effects, but the world needs safe, cheap vaccines and with high efficacies. It seems World Health Organization or any Western company vaccine approval is crucial now. I'm waiting for good news, let's see. My stock price target is $400 for this year. After an approval, the stock price will jump and exceed my stock price target but for now, it's too early to be very bullish. We have plenty of Novavax videos in our channel. Please check them for further details. Before we talk about CureVac, you see day trader's best friend the RSA index on the screen now. I also mentioned in another video but also like to talk about again. According to this index, you may decide whether the stock is oversold or overbought. Day traders in general buy when it's oversold and sell when the stock is overbought. In this picture, over 70 is overbought and 30 is oversold threshold. So far so good. But in the long term, it may mislead you and cause less returns on investment. As you see, the stock price can keep increasing while the RSA index decreases. That's why, please watch our videos and do also your own research before selling or buying a stock. So, it's time to talk about the CureVac. 
The stock is doing nothing like the company. After disappointing phase 2 study results, the company lost half of the market cap in just a few hours. So, lessons learned for the newbies. Stop loss can't always protect your money. These kind of results are generally announced in after hours. Recently, GSK and CureVac have announced that their next generation COVID-19 vaccine show strong response in one case. Yes, you heard right. In one case. The study is ongoing in the preclinical phase and will take a long time to bring it to the market. First one failed. Let's cross the fingers for the second one. Their mRNA platform seems not working. In other words, it, it has to be improved. Sorry, but I don't give a price target for this company. Thank you for your attention and watching till the end. Please give a like and don't forget to subscribe. Adios.